Turners and the makers and a warm welcome back to my channel right for this week's project I've got this lid with a few holes in it also I found this finial I've done ages ago so we'll get that onto there like so I've glued a bit of walnut and a bit of oak together so we're gonna get that put onto there we're going to make a pot puree bowl. So without further ado, it's over to the lathe and let's turn some wood. See you at the lathe. Right then and welcome to the lathe. Right, our vessel is on there now. So without further ado, let's start turning. So we'll speak to you again soon. Starting to shape lovely that is now. Just got to make sure I ain't going to do too much because I want to keep that bit of a shape like that. So yes, we're getting there. We'll keep going. a lot better it is very dry wood so it will need a fair bit of sanding on that so right I think that is all right there so now we'll concentrate on this but first I think I ought to just make sure I don't get too narrow on that first because of that fitting on it so we'll get that ready first so I'll get you round here and we'll have a look at that part so I'll speak to you again in a minute okay right we're just going to throw that uh, face up a bit first and then we'll mark it out then ready for our lid to go on For now, hmm. right. I have got if I can find where I've put it. Okay, I found what I was looking for. So, what I'm going to do is just get. that ready now to just which is 
there. See, that's what I said about the lip, because I'm not going to have much of a lip there. So I'm going to just get that turned in a bit now, and then we can do it all that fits, and then we'll start hollering it out. Check it first. That's just a tiny bit more off. Like I say, it's always best to just undersize it first and then work your way back to make it fit. So now we're going to a bit because you can't put the wood back, can you? So I'll speak to you again in a minute. Okay, right, that is the already now done. I've gone in to follow that. So, as you know, especially using the carbide tools, uh, I've got a lot of rubbing down to do on the inside. So, I'll get all that rubbed down now. Leave it looking the best I can. And then I'll come back to you. So I'll speak to you again in a minute. Okay then, so I've rubbed that down. From 80 grit down right down to 320, so I'm going to get the sanding sealer on in there now.
bit more on it. Right then, so I think the finish on this piece is obviously your sanding sealer. So I'm going for the let's get it out a bit. Okay, that's a bit better for you. Right, it's going to be the sanding sealer, as you know, round. Followed by the Yorkshire grit, and then I'm going to put, as you know, my favourite wood wax 22 on this one. So I'll get that all done on the inside, and then I'll come back to you when we're ready for the outside. And we're nearly there, I believe. So while I do all that, I'll speak to you again when I'm ready for the uh, side outside of it. So I'll speak to you again in a minute. Okay then, right, that's the inside now finished. So what I've got to do is just bang the lid on, bring up a towel stop. Like so. And I can buff all that and that at the same time. So I'll get you overhead while we finish rubbing and doing that. So let's get you moved. Okay, and welcome to the top. Right, so all I've got to do now is just rub this down. Get through the grits 120, 180, 240. And then we'll put the sanding sealer on and the Yorkshire grit, followed by wood wax 22, and we'll be done. Right then, all the sand, hold on. Okay, so all the sanding down is now done. So, right, it's time to put the sanding sealer on. We'll get that on. minutes to dry which is it is yes it is dry now we'll buff that off with the cloth
Okay then, so all that's left now is to finish buffing off the wood wax 22, get another couch on it, and then I'll get the finial glued onto the lid. Once I've done all that, I'll meet you over the signboard, and then we'll have a look at it. So until I've done all that, I'll see you at the signboard. Okay then, I'm done. And there you are, that is my finished project for today. There it is, the lid is just right that is to be honest with you. That's the inside. That's the bottom. Bottom of the lid. Like I said, the lid and the finial I'd already done anyway, so I hadn't got the video on doing that, but yeah, you know, roughly how it's out how to do them anyway I suppose so but that is my finished piece for today's project and while I'm on it I just want to give a big thank you to all the subscribers that have come in over to my channel in the last few weeks uh, big thumbs up to you all and plus the ones that have been with me from start till now thanks for still sticking around and watching me on my journey learning on the wood turning so i hope you have enjoyed this one i've quite enjoyed doing this one today so you know what you gotta do you gotta like you gotta share it and you gotta press that squiddy button till the next time bye now